We're here with actor, choreographer, you name it, he's done it, John Roa. Why don't you give us a little bit about your background when you first got interested in choreography and acting? I mean, you do everything, so there's yeah, well, hard to narrow a topic. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really make sure to stay trained and keep conditioning and keep my word on each craft mm -hmm. um, and enjoy them and try to push the boundaries as much as I can within myself and maybe whatever project I'm working on. Uh, I started, last time we had an interview was at Rutgers University and I kind of started after I graduated Rutgers, mm -hmm. uh, but I would say that around 20, uh, 1, 22 is when I kind of really put my focus on what I was doing, paying attention for the dance part. Choreography was kind of the first thing I started doing and that's why I decided I needed to dance to understand the choreography thing, something I wanted to do. Um, as an actor-singer, that probably started maybe... I mean, I, I definitely took classes at Mason Gross and played around here and there, but in regards to paying attention on it, focus, be that um, lessons and training and, and, and workshops and, and work experience, probably around 23, I started around that stuff. And since then, it's been pretty great. Uh, I've been really uh, well-versed throughout my career in different fields. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've done a few Broadway shows in the Heights, Hands on a Hard Body. I've done some off Broadway plays, the Library of Chad Deity. Um, I did a, a play called Somewhere over the Old Globe. I did uh, Bring It On at the Alliance. I forgot about that. Yeah. I, I, I had to forget about that. It was part of the creative process of Bring It On. Some other stuff too. Uh, a lot of stuff. It's kind of interesting because once I, because I do all four things, I kind of. And I, I refuse to compromise simply because they all feel me. We'll see how it happens, which one will I pull forward with mm -hmm. eventually. But I think acting and choreography are the two that two I really the main ones. Main ones. And singing and dancing kind of come with those. Um, but <clears throat> uh, since then, and then I'm doing a new off-Broadway play right now called Kung Fu. Uh, it's based around the, the life and uh, the actions and history of Bruce Lee and, and his impact uh, kind of on, on American culture mm -hmm. and uh, I as a choreographer I've, I recently choreographed for Fish um, on their fall tour and I did a segment for Assembly Wife Swap on ABC that should be coming uh, out either this spring or summer um, I danced for Mariah Carey on New Year's Eve for her, her drop ball drop how was that? What was that it was like? cool. It was great. It was pretty rigorous. It Where was, just, was it? In... Uh, it was in New York on 235th Avenue. But, okay. But uh, we rehearsed only like one day at all together. Probably some of the best dancers in New York got together. It was really amazing to share that with all with good friends of mine. And we did the job. It was amazing on New Year's to do that. And then at the same time, I booked Kung Fu. So I was doing that at the same time. I had previously done a reading in Connecticut. And then I was doing Fish at the same time. So there was a lot of things going on in regards to all four crafts. It was really a great opportunity for me to be uh, on top of each one and, and, and enjoy each one. Uh, and I was singing for a, this thing called New Deco Orchestra that's coming out soon. So there was various opportunities. I was going into a lot of castings via TV and film and a film that I'm uh, part of called Fall, Fall to Rise with Dr. Yuma Vega and Dustin Richardson. That's being released probably early... Um, I don't know if it's going to be, it's either going to be released within a month or early spring uh, okay. for Tribeca. And that was really cool. Director Jay Spartak was, uh, really, uh, wrote it as well. It was a good experience. It was fun to play with Daphne and I'm curious to see what it turns out to be. A uh, bunch of stuff has been happening. Teaching at Broadway Dance Center regularly. Um, and, I don't know, life's been pretty eventful. I was going to say, you don't sound like you've had a minute. To... Well, I mean, yeah, and fortunately enough through the holidays, I've been able to see my family, I've been able to hang with friends and reunite with some people, I've, I've met a special person in my life, and uh, I've been able to do all that stuff. But, you know, the things about New York happened, like my car got towed, I had to pick that up from the impound. That must have been fun uh, and expensive. It was expensive, and I just found out, literally this morning, as I was trying to pay a ticket, that there's two tickets for the same uh, uh, violation that I have to pay. I don't even think I can dispute it, so it's not going to be the greatest situation. But, uh, yeah, it's like, how do you get the same ticket twice? Uh, I got it twice. The same, <laughs> and and then, then, then they towed it, and then I didn't even know, so it, it sucked. But, you know, a week of Kung Fu is pretty much gone yeah. to pay that. 
Uh, Kung Fu's been amazing. I'm learning a lot and growing. And I don't know. There's some other projects that are coming up that, that I, I might be affiliated with. And I'm really interested in seeing where they go as well. So kind of just waiting to see the trajectory. Not waiting. Staying on this present yeah. and as, as uh, joyful as, as I can for each uh, field that I, I'm working on and, and seeing what trajectory happens for each one. Now, since you mentioned that you were a teacher at Broadway Dance Center, what is it like being that person that gives someone who may not have the confidence or who may not, you know, obviously could be newer to the world of dance, giving that person their start, so to say, and not, you know, you know like you're influencing them in a huge way. I guess I'm starting to become present to that. I, I never really, I felt like I was that was occurring but not due to my awareness of it simply my connection to them wanting to absorb the choreography and then I started recognizing how much I'm actually having an impact on these individuals uh, and I think I really became present to that when I when I got offered the fish job um, and when I choreographed I realized the higher dancers that I've been training and they got paid, and they got taken care of, and they busted their, they busted their ass. And yeah. It was amazing. And, and I said, wow, this 10%. Is, well, you know, it was pretty amazing to get the, the actual uh, yeah. piece out there. It's online. If people are interested in seeing it, it's on my YouTube page. Which, if you're interested to see any of my choreography, it's just YouTube.com backslash John Rue 814, J-O-N-R-U-N-4. I'm sure I can put it up there later. Uh, on the credits of, of this little interview here, which is awesome. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> but basically, yeah, to have that impact, I have to teach a private lesson later today. I've been teaching private lessons for different uh, independent artists and, and just aspiring performers, and I'm recognizing that I am kind of putting a new movement of work together, and people are drawn to it. So I'm realizing that I am giving an impact, but the, it's a communal thing because I need them as well. Right. You know what I mean? And, and obviously I'm creating something that, that they're connected to, but I need them for it to exist. So yeah, I'm having an impact on them, but they're having a great impact on me too. So I really take, I take those people who really truly uh, work hard and, and, and are in it uh, for, for great reasons, and, and I really work on them. I, you know, we talk about it. So there's a few people I've been training in the studios with privately just to train and see where we can go and uh, I'm looking forward to see where that can go and then private lessons and teaching so and uh, Bonnie Erickson over at, at Broadway Dance Center has been very great and she's been supporting me and, and recognizing kind of where I want to go with things so I've been have an opportunity to teach regularly over there and teach the, the ISVP classes and, and workshops and been able to share all that so yeah I guess I love having the impact I want it to be on a more regular basis mm -hmm. I want it to be with a larger group of people. I wanted to I want to teach the masses and not just trendsetters. And I have a feeling that dance works in that way where people take uh, classes that they feel comfortable with. So I'm looking to draw the people who feel uncomfortable perhaps and let them know that there's no reason they shouldn't they should feel comfortable. So we'll see. And now Kung Fu um opens and previews on February 4th, right? February 4th is the, the and previews. And 24th is the opening okay. night. And it's so good. Oh, it's going to be so cool. It's going to be so cool. I'm getting beat up. I'm getting thrown around everywhere. I'm also beating a few people up. Well, that's good. Uh, yeah, it makes it a little even. Yeah. And I play a variety of characters, so it's really great to spend that. It takes place throughout, you know, the 1950s, 60s, 70s era, so it's really fun. And what do you have so Sorry to interrupt. What do you have to do, since you just said you're getting beaten up a lot in the film, what do you have to do for yourself to not physically be so beaten down tired that you can't do it day after day for rehearsals? I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> no, no, no. To come. Uh, I'm beat up. I don't know. I would say sleep. I'm learning that I have to sleep. I'm learning that I have to uh, be in, in a stand uh, for continuous, like, encouragement and have the possibility of learning new stuff every day not expecting a result it's not for the result because especially when you're learning something new like literally we're learning a Ch Wing Chun style and Kung Fu and we're learning these crafts while we're absorbing the choreography so it's staying positive it's absorbing as much as you can 
but eating right and staying patient throughout it because it's a short turnaround rehearsal period. Absolutely. Yet you don't want to overdo it. So we're, we're working really hard and learning how to stay balanced throughout it. Uh, but sleep, eating right, um, and knowing why we're doing what we're doing in regards to the story and the martial art kind of the more I understand it the easier it is for me to, to execute had you ever done anything martial arts wise wise in your choreography that you huh. no but you know as a kid growing up um, watching Last Dragon watching Breaking all these things that were kind of urban you know movements if you want to say and, uh, iconic films mm -hmm. for the urban community I've always played around with what that is. I didn't know what I was doing. I always played around. So now to actually learn and and and, and recognize where it's coming from is so cool. I, I have a guarantee that some of my work after this is definitely going to be affected by the martial arts yeah. uh, movement and kind of aura. Because you have to be very disciplined in the martial yeah. arts. So not you only are to, you... It's not easy. And they're flexible. I'm starting to get really flexible. Not from this. It, it, I'm getting more flexible. Sorry. I'm starting to get really flexible from this and not even from the amount of dancing I do. Right. It's this that's really conditioning me in a way that I, that I wasn't uh, accustomed to prior. And I like it. I, I really want to get good at the martial arts. You know, you, you're doing a show Kung Fu. You can't phone that in. Yeah. There's <laughs> no... So yeah, I mean, everyone's great, and I'm learning from everyone's you know, abilities, and I apply a little of my own self in there too. You know, kind of my movement stuff. I understand the, the muscle energy via popping and, and, and kind of the way I move and the Wing Chun style of kung fu. Kind of, there's this focused energy. It could be chi or whatever. It's but, got, got to be a lot to think about while you're actually doing it as yeah, well. Yeah, so it has to, it's been just retaining and staying um, staying open the whole time. It's really the best advice I've given myself. But the team is really supportive and they're great too. And they're long days, so I mean, I'm really excited though because I, I really do think it's going to be entertaining yet it still um, resonate a, a positive message. Especially because it has to do a lot to do with, you know, why Bruce Lee he's a succeeded. Legend. Yeah. He was a legend, but he didn't succeed in America. He had right. to go back to China to succeed. And it's interesting you find out why and how it worked out and kind of how that resonates to, to today's culture and today's uh, societal images. How far does it go into his life? Does it get to the point where he has kids? And oh, yeah. Do they talk about Brandon? And oh, yeah. We, the, there's a character for uh, his kid in there, too. It takes place... It's vivid. I mean, it's all the way, I believe it's from when he, yeah. It spans the life of Bruce that, that, that people know of. Yeah. And then some, and a lot that they don't know of. So it's, it's really great. It's, and it's, it's a high impact and, and exciting, but it's, but it's a play. It's not a musical, it's a play. So there's a lot of material where you can really get into this world. You're, you're, you're in the world, you're not just watching it. So well, it's almost a musical in the aspect of you're so in tune to watching it, and it's so rhythmic just from the moves you're making. Yeah, the the rhythm and it's poetic. And Sonya's doing wonderful work, and we have a fight choreographer uh, Emmanuel, who's amazing as well, Manny Brown, and uh, and Lee is wonderful. She's great. Love working with her. There's just so many people, and Cole's gonna be so good. Cole's playing Bruce. And okay. He is so good. It's gonna be really amazing to see him do his thing up there and the whole cast is really wonderful so and we're all from different backgrounds a bunch of people who have a lot of ability doing it a lot of people who are absorbing it a bunch of people who uh, aren't uh, familiar with acting and are, are you know have jumped into that world and the actors jumping into the kung fu world it's pretty interesting to see just how it all has ignited it's really really exciting every day and fun I was just gonna say you can't tell that you're excited in the least uh, well I mean, <laughs> They say I'm enthusiastic, but no, I'm really That's excited. good. I'm excited about it. One of the things that's um, a big selling point for the show is actually the opposite of that, that it's not expensive to go see. At all. Uh, it's 20, you got to come see Kung Fu. It's $25 a ticket for its run until March 16th. If there's an extension, then it moves up. So if you want to come see the show at a low rate, I'd say right now, $25. Every seat, call now. They're selling out. I'm not a joke. I'm not lying. You can check. It's, it's, it's really been uh, 
sought out. So I would say go check it out. If you're interested in my classes, uh, I teach over at Broadway Dance Center, or I do private lessons as well, but you can stay in touch and informed by going to my website, johnmula.com, or my Facebook for the movement of dance that I'm doing is called uh, facebook.com backslash trigger human emotion. And just my Twitter. Twitter is uh, at John Rua. Right? I believe it's at John Rua. Instagram at John Rua1. So just check that stuff out though. Kung Fu. February 4th to March 16th. My uh, choreography forever. John, thank you so much for sitting down with us. I appreciate it. It's been great talking to you. I can't wait to see the show. You, you've sold me on it already. Awesome. Just your enthusiasm has sold me on it. Well, thank you. I'm glad. I hope to see you there. You're welcome.